All right, so just got back from Mock Prison Riot. And uh, prior to that, I was out at uh, OU, Ohio State University. Um, and I was talking to uh, Jeremy and uh, uh, Adam out there. And uh became apparent after uh, visiting these two locations that uh, our customers and our end users uh, wanted uh, this type of video. So uh, first, uh, thank you very much, uh, you know, uh, for the hospitality at both locations. Uh, and next, uh, really uh, want to thank uh, all the uh, COs that I ran into down at Mock Prison Riot that uh, thought our uh, Gen 3 Jersey Cup was uh, as good as uh, uh, we believe it is as well. So we're going to go over uh, the five uses of this uh, Gen 3 Jersey Cuff. And uh, you, know, you say five uses uh, to handcuff. Well, it is, but it isn't. So our patented cuff is uh, now 10 years in the making. It's our Gen 3. And uh, our first use is obviously a handcuff. Our second use, we can use it to go ahead and slide and put over ankles and uh, over boots and so forth and actually uh, restrain the person, uh, putting both feet together. Some may refer to it as hobbling the person. Uh, the third, which is always, uh, you know, uh, a situation, but one that uh, unfortunately doesn't address uh, very well with, uh, you know, the current disposable restraints, and that's a cast. You have that large cast, you know, and there's a thumb sticking up, or you have a prosthetic, or you have an amputee, um, all these different things. So uh, we're going to show you uh, how our uh, uh, cuff goes and solves that problem as well. Uh, the fourth is you can use it essentially as a, a large loop and uh, go ahead and slide it over the feet uh, very fast um, and use that to restrain somebody, uh, especially when there are bodily fluids involved and, and other issues like that. Uh, and the fifth is uh, simply uh, just cutting and reassembling this. So uh, what we have here is we have our handcuffs and it's our Gen 3 jersey cuff. And what you're going to see is we have one here that's already deployed so you can see it's open in its full form have one here that's uh, not deployed as always they come with a full set of instructions the do's and the don'ts and there's more on our website as well so uh, obviously our first restraint you have right here we have our leveling ring in the middle your hands would go in here you would slide this forward and pull so it would be that push pull method I discussed earlier uh, to deploy the restraint you would go ahead and take it like such hold it from the bottom Pull the tab upward, go ahead and pop it open, and then place both fingers in like such, spreading it. Once you do that, you can put two fingers in each. That would then deploy the uh, restraint. So moving on in regards to using it in the restrained feet. So what happens is once it's deployed, it's in this particular fashion, and you have these large openings. So I can slide the ring over to one side, put it over the foot, which is obviously very large, especially uh, when people are restraining it. I can slide the ring to the other side, place it over the other, come out to the side and pull it. Then bringing it in together just like a pair of hands, except it would be around the ankles. Our next option would be in the sense of a cast or a large prosthetic or something where you wouldn't be able to get the traditional opening of our competitors around that. So again, just like with the feet, we can slide it over. We have a large opening. We can get it around that uh, large object, cast, um, different things, whatever it may be, a prosthetic, et cetera, et cetera. And then we can go and bring it over the other side. Again, the same method of the pull and the push. Push with this, pull with this. Our next would be the large loop. So once we've deployed it, we can come right here on the top, slide everything off. When we slide everything off, we have a large loop. The loop then it can be used literally to be placed around both feet rapidly, especially when you're dealing with somebody of an EDP or somebody with a lot of bodily fluids on themselves, such as feces, vomit, urine, um, blood, etc. This then, from uh, the end users that actually use this, were gave us this feedback. You can essentially place this over as the person's being restrained. Go ahead and cinch it down. And then once you cinch it down, it essentially draws both uh, the legs into, into close contact. And then you can move to your leather straps or your hard iron or, or different things uh, with your CRT or uh, your different response teams for that measure. 
All right, so we went over the handcuffing, the hobble, the cast, the large loop. That's four. Well, what's number five, you ask? So number five simply is to go ahead and cut and reassemble in any configuration. So I go ahead and I take our loop, and this allows us to go and take the restraint and basically assemble it into any configuration so that you now have the world's largest, or not the largest, but strongest cable tie in its class. So we go... We would simply take our restraint, we would cut it here next to the locking mechanism, like such. That would release it, pull out that tab. We now have this very lengthy strap that we can assemble in any configuration we want. So we want to go ahead and use it for an EDP and have to uh, restrain the person so that they don't hurt themselves. You can do that now in regards to a cot or the infirmary or so forth. You have an emergency with some gear, something broke, uh, pole cameras, you know, all these different things that happen when Murphy rears its ugly head, and it does. Well, now you can just ascend, uh, cut these apart and assemble them in any configuration you want. Literally, all you do is take the cut end and reinsert it in that opening section back here, like such. Placing it in, feeding it through, and we have our loop. It can be done over and over again. So we then do it again. Pull out the spent tab. Reinsert it for a smaller section or a new job. So now we can use this for different emergencies. Again, the restraint itself is single use, but again, we now have five uses for the one restraint. Like the, again, the thank you to all the COs I ran into down at Mock Prison Riot, and uh, definitely like the positive feedback that you gave us on the project, and uh, look forward to uh, future videos on the uh, restraints and other uses, as well as. Uh, some videos on our evac pack, which was very uh, uh, well received. Uh, that will be uh, coming out, which holds 96 restraints and four cutters. Watch.